Mysterious. Father. Kind. Knowledge. Athletic. Smile. Compassionate. Persistent. Quiet. Adventurous. A leader. Simple. Durable. Intelligent. Hard worker. Popeye. Unpretentious. Intelligent. Believed in God. When the Yanks raise the stars and sh- Muscle and blood and skin and bones, a mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load the 16 ton, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in depth. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was born one morning. My name is Joanne. And I'm the firstborn. Uh, according to the stories, I was named after my dad's cousin. He named me. My name Richard Otterson. I was the second born, the, the first male child. My middle name was Lee, and that was his middle name. Mm, this is Mary Lou. I'm the third from the oldest. My name's Dave, and I'm number four in the list of a family of nine. Bob, and he was number five in the family. My name is Glenn. I was named after my dad's friend. 
I'm Carol D. I am number seven in the lineup of nine. I was named after Aunt Ephody. My name is Laura Lee Otterson, and I'm the last one, which is number nine. The thing I'd like for people to remember was his love for his family. A quote from him would be, I won't give you a plug nickel for yours, but wouldn't take a million for the kids that I do have. My dad would never um, brag about himself, so it would take times like this to make it happen for other people to really, really know him. To think for myself. He was very big on not giving us all the answers too quickly. He would refer us back to the dictionary. The Webster's Dictionary had a place in the house on the coffee table along with the family Bible, which I think didn't get read as much as the dictionary did. But... Um, he was one to want to to, um, to think for ourselves. Well, he not only thought it, told us to, you know, wanted us to think for ourselves, but also keep your judgments in check. That means don't be rash about your judgment with your situation and other people. Okay. Think it through and, you know, get out of your box and, you know, keep your perspective on, you know, Everybody's different and everything is different. He used to have an old saying, you know, that, you know, who told you that life was a bowl of cherries, you know, things like that. He was a very proud father. I knew he was thoughtful towards us in his own way. He wasn't the type to get on the floor and play marbles with me and Jacks and that kind of thing. But um, you could see it in his eyes, that nod of approval. <laughs> Think for yourself. He's a free spirit and very intelligent by what I call self taught because he was a he was a voracious reader and and if you wanted to you know, he was going to school and only way made it so I don't know, I think he was twelve or thirteen, but uh my mom told me that they would find him uh, in the library when he was skipping out. When he should have been in class, he was in the library. And that was his favorite place to be. He was gentle. Was a Bible quote to me that struck home was, uh, your best works are as filthy rags. You had to have patience. He had nine kids. He made his point quickly. I mean, you know, he, you know, he, he said it like it was, and like it should be. So... He never got a tattoo like most Navy men did back then. He was a lot smarter than than he looked. I don't mean to be that sarcastic at all, but he did a lot of beatings. He did read a lot. He was quiet a lot of times, but he he would be you know thinking a lot of things. And so in in the times when I did talk with him, I mean he was he was pretty sharp. He was pretty sharp. <laughs> the best life lesson that my dad gave for me was to think for myself. His cousin Johnny was in the Navy also, and he retired from the Navy, Navy unlike my dad. And my dad obviously was on a ship. He, he fought in his class weight for the ship. If there was a match between their boat and another boat and somebody in his weight class, he, he would box. He was a good boxer, let me tell you. I think it was all nine of us, or at least most of us. I know the boys were in the car too, Teresa and Laura, and uh, we all piled in. He had his famous whistle. He'd whistle, and we knew that was to mount up or mount out. Thank you, Dad, for loving Mom all those years. I know you had your ups and downs and a lot of the ins and outs, but it was a stabilizing factor in my life knowing that you truly were 
a one-woman man. Thank you for keeping your values simple and real. Thank you for talking to me and not talking down to me. Very thankful for that. Thank you for creating me. I want to thank you for being there for me at times when I needed you. Thank you for demonstrating dedication. That's what I learned. Thank you, Dad, for teaching me when I needed to be taught. 